Hello students, now we will learn about absolute growth rate and relative growth rate. Absolute growth rate can be defined as increase in total growth of any two organs that are measured and compared per unit time. It can be defined as increase in total growth of any two organs or two cells that are measured and compared. When we are comparing any two cells in their size, then we calculate in terms of absolute growth rate and compared per unit time. Then what is relative growth rate? Relative growth rate can be defined as increase in growth of any one organ or any one cell per unit time. But it is expressed in terms of the initial growth that a particular cell or organ is having of a given system per unit time and it is expressed per unit of initial parameter per unit time. So this is relative growth rate and this is absolute growth rate. Now, According to NCRT, you are given two different sized leaves. One is small leaf and other is large leaf. The small leaf is having smaller surface area. We will write that also. Small or less surface area. Large leaf is having more surface area. Here measurements are given as the small leaf is initially having 5 cm square and after complete development it is about 10 cm square. But the larger leaf is given with measurements of initial 50 cm square and after complete development it is having 55 cm square. First we will calculate what is the absolute growth rate because we are telling it is nothing but the comparison between two different sized organs or cells. In general growth rate can be defined can be calculated as change in size by previous size. This one can also be written as present size minus past size divided by past size. This also can be written as final size minus initial size divided by initial size. Though we use any type of wording, meaning will be same. So first of all, we will calculate absolute growth rate of this because here itself uh, we are uh, telling in the definition as it is comparison. In the same way, for the larger leaf also we will see the absolute growth rate and later we will calculate the relative growth rates of both. So, this is general formula to calculate growth rate. If you want to calculate percentage of growth rate, percentage of change in growth rate. It can be calculated as same change in size divided by previous size into 100.
so we will get the percentage now absolute growth rate is also indicated in shortcut as a g r which are written in capital letters in the same way relative growth rate r g r these are the examples given according to ncrt so we will see this is leaf a this is leaf b first absolute growth rate of leaf a it can be calculated as final size of leaf minus present size of leaf divided by we are using in terms of time so final time minus initial time so we will write in case of leaf a final size is 10 cm square minus initial size is 5 cm square and the change of time total will be per unit time so we take as 1 this indicates t2 minus t1 so t2 will be final time t1 will be initial time t1 can never be 0 so we are getting answer like 5 by 1 so answer is 5 cm square is the change in growth rate of leaf a then what about leaf b absolute growth rate of leaf b this one in the same way final size minus present or initial size divided by t2 minus t1 which is written as 55 cm square that is final size minus 50 cm square divided by change in time t2 minus t1 is 1 right here by 1 that indicates again 55 minus 50 is 5 so we are getting 5 minus 5 divided by 1 that indicates again 5 cm square here absolute growth rate of both the leaves are same 5 cm but when we are calculating individually each and every leaf what is its growth rate that is termed as increase in growth of a given system per unit time but it is expressed individually according to initial parameter so now we will calculate relative growth rate of leaf a relative growth rate of leaf b relative growth rate of leaf a same equation like final size minus initial size that is divided by initial size because when we are calculating in terms of percentage and according to definition we are telling us we have to consider initial parameter so initial size in terms of percentage then of leaf a relative growth rate of leaf a that is 10 centimeter square minus 5 centimeter square divided by 5 centimeter square that is initial size of the leaf but according to percentage so into 100 so this will be this will be 5 minus 5 into 100 that is equal to 100 percentage of relative growth rate is measured in leaf A. Then what about relative growth rate of leaf B? Same equation, final size minus initial size by initial size in 200. Then we will take final size of leaf is 55 centimeters minus 50 centimeters square. Sorry by initially 50 cm square that is into 100 that is equal to 55 minus 50 that is 5 cm square divided by 50 cm square into 100 that is equal to 5 ones are 5 10 10 ones 10 tens. that is 10 percentage of relative growth rate of leaf B. what does this mean small size leaf a is having the surface area 
सो इट्स रिलेटिव ग्रोथ रेट इज मोर एंड एब्सल्यूट ग्रोथ रेट इज कॉमन फॉर बोथ सो हियर रिलेटिव ग्रोथ रेट इज मोर मोर आई एम राइटिंग एज अपर एर इन केस ऑफ लीफ बी इट इज हैविंग मोर सरफेस एरिया and it is having very less relative growth rate again this can be an mcq less surface area more will be relative growth rate more surface area less will be relative growth rate so in case of such type of less surface area showing more relative growth rate in such type of growth rate we get a linear graph or growth will be linear in case of relative growth rate which is uh, in case of the leaves uh, which are having more surface area and less relative growth rate here in case of relative growth rate by taking some examples which are having more surface area less relative growth the graph will be exponential graph or sigmoid graph or the growth rate will be continuous growth rate we also can write also shows has continuous growth rate so these are some important points related to absolute growth rate and relative growth rate so what mcqs are possible from here if any mcq was asked by giving this absolute and relative growth rate absolute growth rate for two sized organs or leaves or any cells will be same but relative growth rate in terms of percentage and by taking initial parameter it changes then we have to consider you take any bacteria or anything which is having less surface area will be having more relative growth rate which is having more surface area will be having less relative growth rate these are the best examples in case of leaf a which is having very less surface area is having more that is 100 percentage of growth will be there so we can take here the small sized leaf is having 100 percentage of relative growth rate in case of large sized leaf it is having only 10 percentage of relative growth rate 